manual sewing machine, industrial sewing machine, or electric sewing machine, which one should you go for? Today I'm going to show you the best sewing machine you should go for as a tailor. I'm going to give you tips on what kind of machine you should buy at your level. Please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You yeah, see, hit the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you get the first time notice of it. If you have any question whatsoever, hit me up in the comment section. I respond very fast. Let's get into this video. Sewing machines were invented many years ago. I was started with sewing a cloth using a hand needle. So sometimes you see making a shirt just like this will take up to two months, one month to make a shirt. But later on, a sewing machine was invented. We started with a manual sewing machine and as technology grew, we advanced to industrial electric sewing machine. Now, most of you have been asking me in the comment section, what kind of sewing machine should I go for as a tailor? This is a very relative question because the kind of sewing machine you should go for depends on your level and what you want to use that machine for. So now I'm going to give you some tips on what type of sewing machine you should go for. Now let's start with the manual sewing machine. Now who should go for a manual sewing machine? Now the manual sewing machine has some advantages and disadvantages. Now one of the ad advantages of the manual sewing machine is the fact that you don't necessarily need electricity to use a manual sewing machine. Now, in a country like ours, where the electricity is not too constant, having a manual machine can be a huge advantage because even without electricity, you can still use it. Now, the manual machine is fast, but not as fast as the industrial sewing machine. So, if you are a beginner, maybe you just enrolled in a fashion school and you're learning tailoring, and you need something, you need a machine that maybe when you go home, you can practice some aspects of what you learned in your fashion school or you are taking online classes and you need a sewing machine that you can use to actually practice what you learned I think a manual machine is the best option for you you can start with that my first sewing machine was a butterfly manual sewing machine I bought it four months into my training in the fashion school and it was very useful I used it to practice a lot and I also used it to make clothes for a lot of customers so as a beginner maybe starting off in a fashion school you can start with a manual sewing machine even after graduating from fashion school and maybe you're a tailor just starting off small a manual sewing machine can be very useful because it can you can use it to sew clothes for customers now one of the disadvantages of a manual sewing machine is is kind of stressful because you have to move the pedal now moving the pedal can be very stressful especially when you're doing a bulky work or a bulky project so it's not as easy to use as an industrial sewing machine where you just press the pedal in a manual sewing machine you have to move it and sometimes it can be very stressful your ankle and all the parts of your body have to move with the machine so when you do a long or a bulky work it can actually take a toll on your body so that's one disadvantage of a manual sewing machine but if you're starting up you can go for a manual sewing machine it's a very useful sewing machine and if you feel the manual sewing machine is too stressful to use because of the pedal there's an option for you to get an electric motor so when you get an electric motor you can attach it to the manual sewing machine so when there's electricity you connect the motor to the manual sewing machine and you use it and it simulates the operation of an industrial sewing machine now the next sewing machine i'll talk about is an electric sewing machine now all these machines are mentioned in app. i own all of these machines so i know the pros and the cons of this machine as the name states an electric sewing machine is a tabletop sewing machine and it uses electricity it was specially made for domestic use and not for industrial use or for business use so if you're a tailor and you're expecting to do work for commercial use and you're expecting to sew works maybe on a day-to-day -day basis i won't advise you to go for an electric sewing machine because an electric sewing machine is specially designed for domestic use so let's say you're a stay-at-home mom and occasionally you do dresses for yourself maybe a gown or maybe you do dresses for your kids your your boy or your little girl once in a while you can go for an electric sewing machine but if you want to really go into the business of fashion and let's say you want to sew commercially you want to make clothes on a day-to-day -day basis then I won't advise you to go for an electric sewing machine. It has a time span. I own one, I own a particular uh, electric sewing machine and after I use it for some few hours, it gets tired. Let me use that word. It's kind of slow. So when you, let's say you are, you're trying to meet a deadline and you're trying to meet up to a deadline, it's not something that work well for you. And after I use it for a couple of hours, it gets slow and sometimes malfunctions in the sense that you, it, 
it struggles to sew the clothes after a couple of hours unlike an industrial machine that you can use throughout the whole day there was a time i had a lot of work and i used my industrial machine for straight two days with no hitches but that's not really possible when it comes to an electric sewing machine it's not as fast as the industrial sewing machine so after i use it for a couple of hours it gets weak and it struggles it struggles to sew the work that's a sign telling you that it actually needs some time off so an electric sewing machine basically is for maybe a stay-home mom you sew once in a while or maybe you do a little project for yourself maybe sew a gown or a short or a trouser once in a while or you sew for your boy your girl casually domestically but not for a commercial or industrial so now the final machine i want to talk about is the industrial sewing machine now an industrial sewing machine is the most powerful of all of these three sewing machines i mentioned an industrial sewing machine is very fast, faster than a manual sewing machine, way faster than an electric sewing machine. An industrial sewing machine, aside from its speed, it also delivers a higher quality stitch than a manual sewing machine. So if you're into menswear, and let's say you do, you soap commercially, and you're into menswear, I advise you, an industrial machine is the go-to for you. You know, menswear, we do a lot with external stitches. So most of our stitches are external, like we stitch the pockets, we stitch the plaquette so most of our stitches are visible so we need a machine that can actually deliver a higher quality stitch so that's why in menswear an industrial sewing machine is a must but if you're just starting up let's say you just enrolled in a fashion school or you just started up the business in a small scale level you can start with a manual sewing machine and as you grow and as you scale you get an industrial sewing machine a project that might take maybe four hours or three hours on a manual sewing machine can you can do it if you're very fast you can do it less than an hour on an industrial sewing machine because it's very very fast now if you're into female wear and you sew commercially you can actually go with either in an industrial sewing machine or a manual sewing machine because most times in female wear most of the stitches are actually interior stitches that's internal stitches so if you're into female wear you can actually go with a manual sewing machine or an industrial sewing machine an industrial sewing machine actually uses electricity to power the motor and that motor actually propels the machine it's easier to use you can actually sew all day on an industrial sewing machine and not get exhausted or get tired there was a time i had a lot of work i sewed for three days straight with only breakfast lunch and dinner breaks and i was on my industrial sewing machine and i was hardly fatigued because it was on an industrial sewing machine i didn't mean i was using a manual sewing machine it wouldn't have been that easy and stress-free for me so an industrial sewing machine is stress-free it's faster and it's it uses electricity and it gives a better and a higher quality stitch who is an industrial sewing machine meant for if you're a menswear tailor i feel an industrial sewing machine is something you should have in your short-term or long-term goal because it's something you is a must-have so if you can start with a manual sewing machine then as you grow and as you scale is a must have for you to get an industrial sewing machine if you're into female wear you can actually start also with a manual sewing machine and as you grow you get an industrial sewing machine so an industrial sewing machine is very powerful it's very fast it's very efficient it's meant for industrial use as you can see from the name industrial sewing machine it's also meant for commercial use so if you want to actually go into fashion designing and you want to take that business seriously an industrial machine is a must have for you if you've got a lot of value from this video i want me to drop in more videos like this please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel luyasi uh hit the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you get the first time notice of it if you have any question whatsoever hit me up in the comment section i respond very fast 